there are so I, I do a thing called employer SEO. Mm. And we we look at a few things. So first we we search for your job with generic terms, not the job title because your job title and somebody else's job title aren't the same necessarily, but the, the skills that are required for that job, that's what somebody as a job candidate is, is going to look for. Right. right. So all searches start in a search bar somewhere. Right. Yep. So whether it's on a, a browser on the internet on, you know, indeed or monster, or it doesn't matter where, right. Facebook, um, <clears throat> It's a, it's a search bar and search bars all work the same way. They look for words in proximity to each other. Okay. And so these things are going to, should include your company's name, the word jobs, the skills and a location. And so why the location? Because naturally search engines want to show you results that are near you no matter what. And people, even with remote jobs and hybrid work, still search for things nearby so that they can go physically look at it. Can you go back and highlight those 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 categories again? Just because I think they're so important for anybody. <laughs> yeah. So search engines use proximity. And proximity yeah. means how close are the words to each other. And so if you want to come up high in search results for specific terms, put all those terms in the title of your job or in an image even as the title of your image on your career site near a location and near your company's name and the word jobs. Right. So if I'm looking for a sales job um, in Dallas, Texas, I'm not just going to type in sales, right? I'm going to type in sales jobs, Dallas, Texas. That's going to be my search because that's exactly what I'm looking for. And if I don't use the word jobs, I'm just going to get a bunch of like, this is on sale. This is on sale, yeah. right? So you have to use the word jobs. And so even in your company's uh, LinkedIn profile and all of your, you can, you can even have all of your recruiters change their current titles to currently hiring Java developers for great jobs in Dallas, Texas. Okay. If you do that and all of your recruiters change their titles to that, first of all, all of their networks are going to see that, oh, hey, celebrate Craig's new job title. All right, Craig got a new job title. Yay, LinkedIn's going to give you a, <laughs> a prompt to do that. And oh, his job, oh, they're hiring JavaScript developers. At, okay, this is a simple hack. LinkedIn loves it. They don't think it's cheating. Um, but your company will start coming up higher in search results online mm. when you do things like that, right? You're stealing so, that. Yeah, there are so, there's so many <laughs> simple SEO things that you can do. Uh, on your career site, on your LinkedIn profiles, um, and on your job ads to come up higher in search results. And just go search for your jobs and see where they fall. And if your competitors are way higher than you because they've got a, a greater share of voice because they're, they've got more jobs posted, well, you don't want to spend a million dollars posting more jobs. Just make your jobs better for search results. And that's employer SEO.